Hey guys, it's Maggie. So today I'm at UC Berkeley and we're going to be asking random Berkeley students, what is your ideal romantic type? And this question was actually suggested by London. So thank you so much for the question suggestion. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. So what are your names? Cody. Cody. I'm Tiffany. Tiffany. First question is, what is your ideal romantic type? Right here. <laughs> Could you guys maybe say something that you really love about each other? For her, I love about how she's very hardworking mm -hmm. and that she's really committed to our relationship uh -huh. and how she's always like willing to change. Yeah, super sweet. How about you? Um, I love his kindness. He used to be a menace, but now he's like the sweetest thing alive. <laughs> uh, he's really funny. I also love his commitment to our relationship, so yeah. How did you guys meet? Uh, so we met here on the first day of school. <laughs> oh, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, like the first day. But we were like friends for like a while. Okay. And then, yeah, we just got together. It's been yeah. really nice and so, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Alicia, what is your ideal romantic type? A uh, romantic type, like... Your ideal partner. Ideal partner? Um, I would say that, you know, I thought that maybe I shouldn't have like an ideal partner only because it's hard, it's really wrong to judge already from someone because if you go with someone with expectations, you kind of let it down. So I, I feel like it's always like about the vibe and how you do it. Mm -hmm. But I do have like, if the guy is like funny, if the guy like is understanding, he, yeah. you know, has like a good, like good vibe to himself. Yeah, good vibe. And also like um, he, he's just like there in the moment. You know, doesn't think about like what others are going to think too much. Mm -hmm. But at the end, it just really matters about how he's internally. And yeah. Maybe looks do matter. <laughs> <laughs> the guy gotta be cute. Yeah. <laughs> I hot. <laughs> you know who? <laughs> For so, sure. Like, yeah. Okay. yeah, that should be the case. Ideal partner. Ooh, that's a very deep question. Um, I'd say honest, respectful, um, strong faith, uh, loyal. Patient, great communicator, mm, great personality, sense of humor, ambitious, uh, empathetic. Yeah. That's what I could think of right oh, now. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, I, I would agree with a lot of those. My ideal romantic type or partner would be probably someone who's really sweet, affectionate, uh, someone who wants to spend time with me. Um, I guess someone who like likes to talk and doesn't mind like my nonsense and someone who can be like extroverted sometimes and also like introverted I guess like just go with the flow. Okay, so like ambivert. Yeah. Ambivert. Okay, gotcha. Janelle, what is your ideal romantic type or partner? Uh, for me personally, I think it's someone who like hits like what are the, like, the five um, like forms of like affection like acts of service. Oh. Um, Spending quality time. Yeah. Um, um, I know touch, phys physical, physical touch, touch is one of them. Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Then, um, I'm missing one. Ooh. What was the last one? Gifts. Oh, gifts. Yeah, 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 yeah gift gifts. giving. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think like a solid balance of like all those five. I know people have like a preference of one, but how about yeah. like a balance of five balance. would be okay. like nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Christian, so I'd want to date a fellow believer. So that's probably my first qualification i guess yeah. requirement um probably someone who's kind someone who has a good reputation like amongst his community and his mm -hmm. friends yeah um yeah i'd say those are the two main ones iris could you describe your ideal romantic type or partner uh probably someone that will support me in anything that i do and just have fun when any like activities that we take together and it's always just like a good time. I guess someone who has like the same values and philosophy as I do. Uh, do you describe your values or philosophy? Yes. Um, someone who will, you know, do the right thing and stick by it. Mm -hmm. And um, what else? like strong moral compass strong moral compass yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. and i don't know uh willing to i don't know fend for those who can't fend for themselves yeah like, like the really like kind heart you know like kind very heart, strong yeah. yeah gotcha um compassionate person yeah compassionate. yeah compassion's very important and em empathetic i think we're both kind of looking for the same, the same yeah like we want someone like who like 
we can have fun with and like you know someone's thoughtful, thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's like just really fun to be around and so we really enjoy each other's company yeah completely. like almost like a best friend but yeah, yeah. yeah. so we are comfortable with and can be vulnerable with yeah yeah vulnerability is really important yeah what is your name leon leon what is your ideal romantic type or partner i like musicians um Oh, wow, very specific. I like that. Yeah. In all shapes and sizes. Just a musician. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's my type. Um, more generically, just um, a more loose criteria would be like somebody who doesn't make you feel like you have to work and you don't have to act around because um, it feels like a lot of work being around other people. So it's nice to rest. Are you introverted? I am, 100%. Same, 100%. <laughs> okay, or mostly. Not a shred of extrovert. <laughs> I think just someone who um, I can be, like, it's just like a, a close friend where we um, share a lot of, like, the same values and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And you just um, enjoy, like, hanging out with that person. Yeah. Um, I think that, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So what are you guys' names? I'm Ivy. Ivy. <laughs> uh, Evelyn. Evelyn. Alex. Alex. I'm Alan. <laughs> Alan. So what are your guys' ideal romantic types? I, I have been instructed to go first. Um, <laughs> I've been with the same guy for the past three years. Um, so my ideal type is someone who is really smart and just like is interested in learning about new things and also like super goofy because I'm like really goofy even though I don't seem like it on the surface. So that's my ideal type. That's his sweet. What's his name? Gregory. Gregory. Yeah. Right. How about you guys? <laughs> I mean, I don't really have a, I don't really have a type. I feel like because it's kind of hard to like define it. I just like, mm -hmm. I feel when it's like actually the right person. Yeah. It's like all your types are just like you know it's like all gone. So basically, uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So that's true. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That was it. Yeah. Same. I don't feel like there is like a type, but there's definitely characteristics I like, which is like funny. You're able to hold an interesting conversation with me. Mm -hmm. Nice music taste, creative in some way, driven. Yeah. I have like a lot more adjectives, but I'm not gonna add them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure. Oh, I think for me, it's like in terms of like being able to follow your passions because you know when you're involved romantically, sometimes you forget your own um, goals and aspirations, and you have this. Uh, what's the What's the English word? Um, you You. It's like you meet in between. Uh, compromise and you sometimes you lose uh your values or like your goals because you have to compromise for another yeah. person for me i just got a long-term relationship and it's because it's like in terms of compromising you should be able to like put your goals first it's it's a yeah. very un unpopular opinion especially if you're putting your career first i think for me i would want someone to be able to understand in terms of like putting my career first and also i would want them to put their careers first yeah. and not like compromising because at the end of the day what if that person um how's it um regrets for them not following their goals in life yeah. and then but also at the same thing it's like it's their choice to like compromise for their own goals but just someone who's be able to hold their ground yeah. and then also um just follow their passions and not be able to put their um goals in life in, in the back burner mm. but yeah yeah, yeah it's like you have to love yourself before yeah, loving others that cliche first in order to be able to love someone else yeah, yeah. because it's like kind of dangerous otherwise yeah. you could really lose yourself yeah. you know so izzy could you describe your ideal romantic type or partner <laughs> oh my gosh okay wait <laughs> um i would have to say that i think um, someone who's just like nice which is like a really low standard to have but i think that sometimes it's not always a possible standard mm -hmm. to have. Just like kind. So yeah, just kind, person, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah like yeah. affirmations of Those niceness. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Love yeah. Language. Could you describe your ideal romantic type? Uh, I think somebody who communicates clearly, but also knows um, like when it's okay to not communicate when it's okay to sit in silence and stuff. Mm -hmm. Someone who's like comfortable with silence? Yeah, somebody somebody who can just be comfortable being around you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this was a lot of fun to film and a lot of fun to hear everyone's responses. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.